For Rebel News, I'm Tamara Ugolini here at the Toronto Sheridan Centre for the United Health Conference with the aim of seeking justice for the vaccinated. So a central topic here is to discuss vaccine in relation to the COVID-19 vaccines and the health impacts that those are having on the population, but also how one and Canadians could eventually hopefully move forward to have as the name alludes, justice for the damage and harms that have been caused to the Canadian and American populations. And joining me is Dr. Paul Elias Alexander, who has been on the Rebel platform a few times before and really integral in getting crucial evidence-based information out to the public throughout the COVID hysteria. So I suppose as an epidemiologist, what are your main concerns moving forward as we continue to see the health repercussions and fallout of these novel injections? Well, <clears throat> thanks very much for Rebel having me and Tamara yourself. Um, look, the reality about it is that um, many uh, Canadians were denied health care during the lockdowns and school closures, etc. So that um, what we are seeing and we're going to see in the future is a lot of what we call the delayed uh, effects where people who had began a disease situation have moved along the sequence and uh, have gotten very sick. So they, uh, they, they, it probably could end for some of them in death because the disease sequelae has advanced that much. So that's one of the catastrophic failures of the lockdowns, what it did. I think the, uh, the COVID gene injection, the mRNA platform, so Pfizer, Moderna, and the adenoviral platform, um, what we are seeing is the, at the end of the day, both of them, well, all of the vaccines end in the spike protein, the generation of the spike protein, whether your cells um, make the spike or they deliver it in the shot itself. And uh, the spike has turned out to be, and we knew this two years ago, even before, very and sadly, many of the things that we discuss may go against certain safe and effective narratives, and we cannot share much of it on certain platforms. So if you scroll down to the description below and click the link there, you'll be redirected to a platform that does not engage in censorship of ideas or lived experiences. So please check out the full report over there, and I'll see you on the other side. For Rebel News, I'm Tamara Ugolini.